الله الرحمن الرحيم مستر uh, محمد فريد خميس chairman of the board of trustees the British University in Egypt uh, professor Ahmed Hamad Ahmed Hamad sorry the uh, president of BUE uh, Mr. Song Aigo the ambassador of People Republic of China excellences ladies and gentlemen it gives me a great pleasure to be with you on China Day to review the Chinese experience in different aspects and work together to find out possible opportunities and identify viable and concrete solution to maximize cooperation with our Chinese partners to upgrade the electricity sector in Egypt. <clears throat> I would like to thank the British University in Egypt for their enthusiasm to organize this event, which will be a real milestone in the relationship between our two countries. <clears throat> Excellences, ladies and gentlemen, the energy and electricity sector play a vital role in the economical growth to secure adequate electricity supplies at the, maximum, at the minimum cost to all end users. During the last decade, the electricity sector has grown rapidly to meet the rapid increase of demand of electricity. The status of, and the challenges of the power sector in Egypt now, Egypt has successfully managed to secure electricity supply to almost 99.03% of the population. The electrical peak demand increased by an average of 6.5% over the last decade, and this put a very strong challenge on the supply of electricity, and keeping in mind that we were relying to a great extent on the natural gas in order to produce electricity, and in case of, and in, in, in the situation where we have a shortage in the natural gas, this affects to a great extent uh, the, uh, the uh, uh, electricity energy supply during the last uh, couple of years. And we are trying very hard, actually, to uh, rectify the situation. It will take some time, but we are trying very hard to shorten this period to the maximum extent. The electric peak demand increased, by, as I said, by an average of 6.5% over the last decade. The peak demand last year, uh, during August uh, 2014, reached about 27.8 megawatt. Sorry, 27.8 gigawatt. To meet the increase in demand in average, the annual expansion in the generation is required to be in the order of about 5,000 megawatt during the next years up till the year 2022. In order to cater for the peak demand required and at the same time to create a comfortable uh, 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 spare capacity in the network in order to cater for any uh, uh, things happen there. <coughs> Uh, this requires as well to have an expansion in the distribution, in transmission and distribution capacities. Uh, the potential of adding uh, hydro generation is limited. Uh, in the year 2015, we have an installed capacity of renewable energy, mainly wind energy, reaching now about 750 megawatt, and 2% uh, uh, of the installed capacity and generated energy from these sources uh, represent only 0.7%. Uh, of the electrical energy generated. The above mentioned challenges lead to the importance of setting a new strategy of electricity sector. The main objective of this new strategy can il be illustrated as follows. Provide the needed electricity for the socio-economic uh, growth, consistency of supplying electricity within economic and operational standards, diversifying the energy mix to include traditional and renewable sources, encourage the private sector participation in generation and the distribution of electricity, and as well to develop the national grid to cope with the generation added from the, all the different technologies. One of our major challenges now is the national grid. To achieve the above strategies, the Egyptian electricity sector has taken the following corrective actions. We restructuring of the electricity tariff. We had a very, very low tariff, such that the average cost of producing electricity was more than twice as much the average value of selling the electricity. 
this put a very big burden on the electricity sector by not being able to uh, have a spare amount of money in order to do and to cater for the expansion and the uh, maintenance and the improvement of the situation. Uh, the second thing is to adopt a feed-in tariff scheme for both solar and wind energy as a part of larger supporting scheme for re renewable energy. Also, we developed a generation expansion plan until the year 2022. Uh, the last thing is to improve the power plant efficiency. Uh, one of its uh, situations is to changing uh, most of the simple cycle gas turbines which we have to a high efficiency combined cycle. The adoption of this strategy will lead to, uh, by the year 2022, we will reduce the dependence of the natural gas from 90.5%, which is happening now, to almost less than 60% of uh, 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 the contribution to the generation of electricity. Energy generated from wind and solar, we would like to have it by the year 2022 to reach 20% of the energy generated. By the way, this is a very, very challenging subject because when we have, we say, energy is 20%, it means that the installed capacity of the renewable might reach 25, between 25 and 30% of the installed capacity in Egypt, which again, it's a very big uh, 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 challenge which we're going to, uh, to handle during the next years. As well, we are introducing the clean coal technology for the operation of the power plants. And I was recently, last uh, December, in China, and we've seen, we've visited some of the coal-fired power stations there, and uh, you see it, you go inside the power station, you feel as if you are walking in a hospital. There is a control of emissions, control of uh, uh, all of the, uh, whether it's uh, NOx or SOx or CO2 emissions. Uh, so the introduction of coal-fired power station and the nuclear power station. Uh, we just heard Dr. Karim talking about the nuclear uh, energy. We have a very ambitious plan now of a nuclear energy program, and we started this. We are talking with the Russians, we are talking with the Chinese, and we are talking with the Koreans in order to choose a strategic partner to work with them. Uh, we visited uh, some of the uh, Chinese uh, uh, nuclear power stations, and we are currently, we are having a mission from the Electricity Authority, from the Ministry of Electricity and Electricity Authority, and some other uh, authorities visiting currently uh, uh, Korean uh, uh, nuclear power stations. One of the things which we do actually is to enhance the operation now, just to uh, uh, let you what we are going for the summertime. We are going to introduce uh, in a very short time to the network almost 3,632 megawatt during the next couple of months. This is with a cost of about $2.65 billion. It has been spent in order to cater uh, to a certain extent for the power demand during the uh, 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 next summer. Excellences, ladies and gentlemen, Egyptian electricity sector has been taking more steps to enhance the environment to increase the investment in renewable energy. In view of that, a full-scale program has been adopted to encourage private sector participation in the energy sector project. The first component of this program was, as I said, a tariff reform program. Uh, the second actually is go to for the what we call a feed in tariff in order to encourage the uh, expansion and development and, uh, in, uh, and the investment in the field of the uh, renewable energy. Uh, uh, there is many schemes to encourage the operation or the investment in the uh, renewable energy. Uh, one of them is to co have a competitive bidding uh, uh, processes. Uh, one of them is bilateral agreements between a renewable energy service provider and the end users, uh, as some of them as well to have a very good, uh, attractive feed and tariff uh, scheme. And we actually uh, are planning for uh, to introduce about 4,300 megawatt during the next couple of years from a solar and from the wind energy. Uh, 
one of the things which we actually are introducing in order to enhance the operation in the electricity sector is that we are finally are producing what we call the new electricity law, which again, it will attract the attention to have an investment of either a local or an international investor, investors in the field of the uh, power generation. Uh, and by the way, we actually, during the last summer, uh, sorry, the last <coughs> Uh, conference in the uh, uh, in Charm Sheikh, we already signed almost 20 different MOUs with private investors uh, uh, coming to invest in many activities: coal uh, fired power plants, combined cycle power plants, uh, rehabilitation of existing power plants. Because we managed, we we we've, we estimated that if we do a rehabilitation and increasing the efficiency of the existing power plants, we can add to the network simply without any additional equipment, just enhancing the existing equipment, we can add up till between 15 to 20 percent of the power generation without additional of, uh, ex uh, new equipment. Again, the renewable energy, whether it is photovoltaic, PVs, or wind energy, and now we are going for the CSP for the solar as well. A small hydro power plants, uh, pumping and the storage uh, hydro power plants, and uh, one of the projects, actually, we are currently uh, in discussion with the Chinese uh, company called uh, Sino Hydro, one of the international big companies in this field, uh, is to have a, a, a pumping uh, and storage plant to be installed in uh, Ataka with a capacity of 2,100 megawatt. Actually, we are currently uh, uh, dealing with a lot of uh, good uh, Chinese uh, companies like uh, uh, Shanghai Electric Power, uh, Sino Hydro, uh, Avic, uh, you name it, a lot of uh, uh, very good uh, 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 companies. One of them as well is what we call State Grid uh, Company. This company has the largest grid in the world. They are handling about uh, uh, 1,300 thousand megawatt, uh, gigawatt. It's unbelievable. I mean, it's, uh, uh, the amount of energy handled uh, by this company is beyond imagination. We are currently are working very closely with them in order to study our existing network in order to enhance, because we plan actually to increase the capacity of our existing plant now from 30 gigawatt to, my, to reach uh, around 80 uh, gigawatt by the year 2022. It's a major development on what we have now. I'm not going to talk much about this, but uh, I, I just would like to uh, finish my words in here. And uh, uh, I thank you for uh, uh, your good listening for my speech. Thank you very much.